Look, I, I, I think it's really important. And, Christine, I mean, you can help me out with this. You cover the NFL, and you're a woman. Like, it's a, there's a juxtaposition there in that I, I, I understand. Like, I'm, look, my family is, is kind of Cowboy fans because I met Tony Romo, my daughter, when she was two, fought, saw Tony Romo on Fox playing a game and fell in love. Like, her first crush was Tony Romo. So there's a lot of Oklahoma State guys that play for him, and we, we like the Cowboys. But no infatuation with the team, no interest in fantasy football comes above that of the safety of a woman. And like I like I'm I'm reading other people who I respect in this profession who are far better journalists than I'm a journalist, right? But their immediate reaction is, boy, this changes things in the NFC East. Like, or maybe the reaction should be, wait, 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 wait. So Ezekiel Elliott did beat a woman, right? Like there's a we just have this disconnect with what this actually means more than what it should mean to our football team. Am I making any sense? Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you, we care about the person. You know, that But we don't. Like, game. nobody's like, is she okay? <laughs> right? Like, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying we, the sports fan, like, we don't. Like, no one has ever offered up the, boy, I, that's got to be incredibly traumatic. What is, what, is Ezekiel LA getting, is he going to get help? Is he going to... You know, is he going to seek some sort of counseling? The, like, the only thing, like, six games? Six games? Why wasn't Josh Brown suspended six games? Like, who cares? Um, yeah, I, I just kind of think we're, our wiring is really screwed up. Like, as sports fans. I love sports. I do. I, I love sports. I love sports stories because it takes, it takes fans, it takes all of us away from all this other nonsense which is going on in the real world. But I don't love sports so much that I... I I can't see the forest because I'm too close to the trees, right? Right. And and look, and and in all in all honesty, I'm not sure there's a set game amount that is actually ever enough. Right? Like there's not, you can't tell me like two games, six games. Like, look, I, I defend Joe Mixon's right to play in the NFL, and I'll tell you why. Because Joe Mixon, yes, he was he was suspended for a year, and then he was he didn't leave I actually think it's a bigger thing that he didn't leave the campus at OU. He wore that scarlet letter around because he had struck that woman. Okay. And so every try going on a date when you're Joe Mixon at the University of Oklahoma. Yes, you're a football player, but you're the football player who beat a girl. Like that's a scarlet letter you wear. And you have to you have to wear it. I'm somebody who's done wrong before in my life. I've worn that scarlet letter. And that is what Ezekiel Elliott will wear if in fact he is and the NFL believes that he did something. Um, so I don't know what the number of games is, but I do think that our immediate reaction should not be, well, there goes my fantasy football team. You know, well, that screws up my draft order. Where do I take Zeke? Because I'm going to need him late in the year. And boy, I hope Alfred Morris has got something in the tank. And I got to go bet on the Giants for the opening game at Cowboys team. Like we just, we can't just take a breath and realize that the NFL believes that he, uh, he struck a woman. I, I just, I, somehow we have to be able to at least pay attention to that portion of the story before we dive into the football aspect of it, which, look, is why we're all here, and it is the Cowboys, and it is a billion-dollar industry, and, and life is going to go on, it, but I, I, I can't get away from the fact that every reaction I've seen has the only thing people are acting to is football. Man, well, we've got to see what Dak's got, which I'm honestly partially thinking myself, but then I kind of shake myself and go like, wait, 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 hold on. I was told Dax, uh, Zeke's a really good kid, that Zeke's just, you know, too much too soon, and now you're talking about domestic violence. That paints a different picture. Because I look at guys that hit women as like you either do or you don't. Right? There's no doubt in my mind that you can be rehabilitated, but that's a line to which, I don't know, just most people I know don't cross. Like, you never hit a woman, ever. Like, you just don't do it. You just walk away. And once you kind of cross that line, you become that guy. And I, if, if Zeke is that guy, that makes it really, really hard for me to ever root for him again. 